please. Uh, let's, let's get the roll, please. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Mahoney, um, Kevin Mahoney, what, what did you think about Ryback? You said you wanted to have a little discussion about I, Ryback I, tonight. I, I, first of all, I don't, I'm not a big fan of Ryback, but there's no similarities to Goldberg at all. I mean, so the Goldberg chants already are old. And if that, I mean, 50% of guys in wrestling and sports in general are bald. Uh, 50% have facial hair. Uh, the guy is much more built than Goldberg ever was. And 98% he's slow, of them he's have slow testicles. and plotting. He's methodical, Ryback. He's not, uh, you know, high energy. High impact moves, but not high energy. Um, it's a different type of. It's a different style. It's complete. It's like saying, you know, that the powers of pain uh, wrestle like, you know, the Ultimate Warrior. It's a different style of power. It's completely different. You know, I mean, it's a different, like I said, Sid and Kevin Nash and Russell the same. I don't know, people just, like, you know, it's so easy for wrestling fans to do these comparisons of everybody to everybody. But it's just like, uh, I, I don't see the Goldberg thing. It's old already, and the chants are irrelevant, in my opinion. Well, I don't think you, it's, it's not going to de derail the push of this guy. They're only going to keep pushing him. I think WWE is behind this guy 100%. Well, so, I mean, and uh, to be honest with you, he's far stronger than Goldberg is. I mean, he's much more powerful. So, I mean, my, it's a different style. Bald head goatee, that's 50% of the roster. So, I don't see – it's Kurt Angle. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't get it because he's bald. I mean, so what? So, why don't we just chant Kojak? I mean, what's, what's the difference? I don't see any similarities to Goldberg at all. None. I None. Don't I totally disagree with you because I, I think, what similarities does he have to Goldberg? Well, I'll, tell, I'll tell you. Well, let me just bring up another person. He doesn't wear the first. outfit Goldberg. With, well, just like Goldberg and Austin, I didn't see any similarities between well, the two black tr bl trunks, black boots. Uh, yeah, Dick Slater wore that too. Adrian Adonis wore that when he's an East West Connection. Uh, these the wrestling fans got to knock it off with the stupidity. Really, it's, that's why it's annoying to be a wrestling fan. It's stupid. Well, Ryback has nothing in common with Goldberg. Nothing. Well, nothing. Let, let me let me. I got news for you. Ryback has paid more dues in developmental than Goldberg ever did. Well, let me bring up Mason Ryan. Mason Ryan. Everybody got wet about his power, and what happened? He was sloppy as shit. He is nothing like. Once again, you're because you, you want to no, no, go I'm not comparing him to Mason Ryan. I'm just saying that Jeff Sheffield has been here for several years. He was here before NXT. I'm not a big fan, but he's not. It's, not, it's just saying something to say something. It's saying something for the sake of saying something. I'm not. Is trying, Big Show anything like Andre the Giant? I'm not trying to compare. No, but I'm saying is Big Show and Andre the Giant the same? No, but I'm not comparing exactly. them. Mason so Ryan. The they're just, giants, but it's different. Different styles. Don Leo Jonathan was a giant. I mean, like I said, wrestling fans have they get on this thing where everyone there's a little similarity. It's a it's a copy. It's a this. It's a that. It's consistent. It's and that's why it's annoying to be a wrestling fan. Well, let me let me say this. I'm the only point reason why I brought up Mason Ryan is to say that sometimes strength is a detriment to somebody. But as far as the comparisons to Goldberg, I'll tell you why they're chanting Goldberg, and I'll tell you why I, I see, I, I, I relate to the people chanting and Goldberg. they're doing it because they have nothing else to do. No, because they've no, been I, I think of to Goldberg, too. They've been told because, to do it. Because it's, it's completely pro. Well, let's see, I'm punk tonight, said goat face or whatever he called the guy, and now they're chanting that. Now, yeah, if you analyze it and say... It's kind of a dumb put down goat face. Am I really going to? Wrestling fans are so stunned that they just repeat back like a parrot about stuff. People still saying what? Yeah, but and, this and is. For what? Austin hasn't been here in years, and it's been irrelevant in years. I mean, that's why wrestling fans, they, they feel they have to do that. Well, you know, the fans who, you know, like, you know, jump on the gravy train. You know, the Albert thing, you understand, because he is Albert. That is Albert. That's why they're cheering Albert. And Tenzai is going over like a fart in church. That's why they're chanting Albert, right, saying, but, listen, go back to being Albert. We're not buying Tenzai. Right, but, but to compare someone to someone else who's not even here, we didn't even make an impact in WWE, by the way, Goldberg. He was here for nine months. Uh, is stupid. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy just like uh, with the guy who looks like Cena but doesn't wrestle like him at all. Who's that guy in the tag team who has a face like John Cena? I the know, black Darren John Young. Cena? Darren Young. Yeah, he doesn't. Like, he just looks like him. But that's wrestling fans have to get on. Oh, he's a Cena clone. He's a black Cena. What? But wrestles nothing like him. Talks nothing like him. It's well, just that... a consistent thing that wrestling fans have to do. Someone new comes in, they can't give him a chance. They have to compare him to somebody else. That's why they're never going to develop new stars that way. Yeah, but... I mean, you know, it's amazing. CM Punk. Thank God there wasn't another straight edge wrestler. You have to live that down from somebody else who used the word straight edge because then you'd have to be. The, oh, someone else said straight edge already. Wrestling fans have to just judge people on individual merits alone. Stop comparing everybody. I, I, Everybody's an angle. This this guy's Brock Lesnar wannabe. This 
It's wrestling. And how many characters do you think there are? How many t- just like when you go to a movie, a lot of people say George Clooney is a Paul Newman ripoff. So, you know what I mean? It's just like we can go on for days doing that. Big shows out will want to be Andre the Giant, this one. Same shit over and over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, this is the reason why uh, I, I actually relate to the people chanting Goldberg. First of all, because you like to do it just like no, they no, no, no. When he first comes out, I mean, he does the same psych job to psych himself up, and then he comes down to the ring. And then what happens is once he gets in the ring, he gets like, like, like jobbers. Like, and yes, Goldberg's opponents were much more name value than what he's of got now. Of course they were. No, this is a, it's a different gimmick. But it's, it's, a but it's, all... it's a different gimmick. And Goldberg didn't take on two guys, and Goldberg could never, no, I, I ever that. hoist up two guys like that and march around the ring with them. Couldn't uh, do it. I understand that, but the thing is is that when when he comes out, he sights himself up. I mean, you look at Goldberg's entrance when he first comes out. All all Ryback needs is the fucking sparklers, and it and it's no, a he doesn't. I, it's a completely different gimmick, and he's a different body type, different ring attire, different music. I understand that, but the problem is, is that they're making him, and he's not trying to be Goldberg. I understand that, but they're making him too dominant with like a couple of power moves. Well, look at look at the motherfucker. Could he be? I, in the, how I know, much more but dominant Brodus can he Clay, be? Brodus Clay did power moves too, and we never compared him. Yeah, but Brodus Clay was a big fat guy. This is a guy in in, in shape like you wouldn't believe. I understand. This guy's built like a fucking. Uh, so I, was, I've never seen a guy built like this in years, including Batista. I haven't seen a physique like this in years. I mean, the guy is unbelievably. I mean, you could break a bat over him, and I think it would just crack. I no, mean, seriously, I, the guy's a fucking brick shit house. I understand. You know, Mason Ryan was a pretty boy. This is an, a hideous looking man who's pretty scary looking, a la like a barbarian or somebody like that. He's not all, Ultimate Warrior, when you kind of looked at him, he's kind of a pretty boy when you think about it. You know what I mean? And then, you know, he, he, this guy, to me, I think if they just package him right, if anything, I think he needs more intense music. I'll be honest with you. And I think he needs a little more intensity in the ring, if anything. He is intense, but it's a different kind of intense. Like, he doesn't have to be like Warrior and run around the ring, even though it would be interesting if he did yeah, that. But, but he'd just... probably be guessed. He'd be guessed at the gills if he ran. He probably can't do that. But like I said, Goldberg was a spear guy, and Goldberg's matches, it was just a different program. They're going to continue this two thing with the jobbers, and it's certainly not to get the jobbers over, but I think the WWE is behind this guy. I don't see any deep push of him uh, anytime soon, despite well, what the audience is doing. Well, I, I don't know. I, I, like I said, when he first comes out, he does the same psych job like Goldberg. Yeah, but a lot that, of wrestlers have done that. Goldberg no, was the I first person it, but to do that. When, a lot of guys does, Missing Link used to do that when he came out. When he does Go watch power, world class tapes when Missing Link would come out and pull his head and bang it into the side of a wall. Is that the same? Is that intensity? No, I know that. I mean, but when well, he like does, I says, I mean, did, you know, look, the, the world war is just a second to smack each other in the chest during interviews. You know, I mean, it's, it's the same thing. I mean, it's a, it's a, just a different form of something that's been done, but that's wrestling. You know what I mean? It's just yeah, that's wrestling. I, I How understand. many more new ideas are there? But you know, when so after it's a Ryback, different take on something, and I just don't see the Goldberg comparison. Well, after Ryback does a power move, what does he do? He does. It's like he 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 looks at the crowd, psychs himself up, and he does like that finish him thing. And it just if you look at Goldberg's matches and you look at Ryback's matches, it dictates the same way. Yes, the moves are a little bit different. Yes, the opponents are a little. They're bit very different. different. Yeah, no, I know that, but I'm just saying, like, you got this big, powerful guy, psychs himself up before he comes out like Goldberg, goes in the ring, doesn't say anything, doesn't really show too much as far as mannerisms, does a couple of power moves, looks to the crowd, psychs himself up, then he's like, finish him, and then he does a, a, a finishing move similar to Goldberg's, it, right. you know, similar to the jackhammer, then he wins, and that's the end of it. And not only that, look at the length of the matches. If Ryback's that's, matches... That's the character over, that's the same thing. No, I know that, you but, know I mean? but again, same, I go back to Bro- So Scott Steiner wasn't copying Superstar Billy Graham? I, no, I know that, but I'm just saying, we look at Brodus Clay. Brodus Clay was having uh, quick Brodus, Clay's, Brodus Clay is so much better off as the big lovable dance with the kids in the ring. Yeah, I agree. The smartest thing they've ever done was him not being the one-man gang. Instead, turning him into the Godfather. It was much smarter to do that. This, They'll sell a lot more merch, and now even the girls are getting over in the back, the black girls. So, I mean, they went the right way with that character. Yeah, Brodus and, and, Clay, and like and him to be a big, fat monster. Yeah, one-man gang and Typhoon had a great career. And, and like that. He, Until they turned goofy, they, no one even knew who they were. And like if he, it's a pain. I'm telling you, right back. I think he's gonna be champion. Yeah, but like I think he's gonna be champion. 
I think he's going to come out. I think he's going to continue to come out, demolish people. He's going to get a big win over somebody in the next few weeks, and then I think he's going to come out on a pay-per-view and get the belt. And I wouldn't be shocked. WWE will do something like that. just to, And I'd like to see him do that just to fuck with the fans. Well, Eventually, like, he will get over. You put somebody out there week after week after week, he will get over. Well, It's like, not Mason Ryan. Mason Ryan has no chance of getting over. Mason Ryan, it looks like a, come on, he looks like a gay stripper. Uh, Ryback right looks like a badass. I he's, don't believe, see, he's believable. Mason Ryan's not believable. I, I don't see Ryback, put it this way, until Ryback fights. I'm sure he's getting the belt next week, but if he gets on a tear and he comes out and he saves people, I think their best bet, is to make him a gray area guy right now. Don't make him if it gets it gets too kind of uh, convoluted, so to speak. Make him go in and save CM Punk or something, and then get get the fans on his side. Yeah, they have Mason but, I, but I think if, Mason because Ryan's... to make him a complete heel is probably not smart because the fans will continue to do the stupid Goldberg chance. If he's a baby face, they won't do that. However. This guy it looks like a mean son of a bitch. It's, you can't make him a baby face. That would be out of desperation if they make him say You don't think Ryback's a baby face? What's that? You don't think Ryback's a baby face? No, he's a gray area right now. He's not a baby face. He's a gray area right now. He's a complete gray area guy. He's, he's, a, heel, he's a tweener. He's well, not a baby face. Well, Absolutely not. Like someone in the chat room said before, you know, Ryback says, feed me more, and Goldberg used to say, who's next? I mean, it, it, they're So all... what? Scott Steiner is repeating what Jesse Ventura used yeah, but... to say in his promos. Jesse Ventura wore the same thing on his head in 1979. Hulk Hogan cut the same promos. Dusty Rhodes and superstar Billy Graham both give the same jive talk that fucking Jimmy Valiant does. Go look and look at the promos between the three, and they say the same thing. Well, it's the same thing. So, I mean, I, I, you, we could do this all day. Let's well, do it two hours well, of this. All I'll say is this. To finish How does the up? pain look like the Road Warriors? Exactly. Well, Warlord looked just like Hawk. How did he have a career? Well, My uh, God, how, how, how did that happen? How did the powers of pain have any success? Let me I put mean, it like this. Demolition is a ripoff of the Road Warriors. We could do this all night. In, it until night. until Ryback faces people more uh, more relevant, but they're right? doing this to him on purpose, though. They're doing I this understand to make that, but this silly thing with these right, dopey how journeyman, anybody, journeyman wrestlers right, but to come out can, and cut these stupid promos. Have can, Jerry Lola goof on them. This is the gimmick, man. This is right, the gimmick. But how could anybody say that they see, can see a champion in this guy where he's beating the hundred and thirty pound guys? Because that's the gimmick they're giving him right now. Because if he was beating established superstars, it would be too similar to Goldberg. They're trying to differentiate between the two. Right, but the, I see it. I don't know why you don't. I could totally see what right, they're doing. All, all I'm saying Stevie is, Wonder can see it. All I'm saying is, is that until I see Ryback, put it this way. Let me say it like this. I'm not even a fan, but I'm totally defending all the right, fact that let, wrestling fans just have to have a comparison. Let I mean, me, God forbid, someone see. from the Olympics this year gets into wrestling next year. Well, Chan Angle, even though, he doesn't, even though he won't be anything like Angle. Let me say it like this, all right? When Goldberg was first on his streak, the first thing that I thought to myself was... I, Steve I, Austin. No, 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 I didn't think Steve Why Austin... Why not? That's what everyone else was saying. No, black no, no. Trunks, black boots, bald head, no, goatee, what, the white first, man. The first Why thing, not? Why is he not the same? The first thing I said to myself was that... I'm curious to see if this guy could go more than three minutes in a match. And I remember and he, he took on, I think, Raven. And he actually went, I think, six or seven minutes. Could have even been a little bit more. And I was very impressed with that. The reason why I bring that up is that until I see Ryback have a match against someone that's relevant, I don't mean Zack Ryder, Kurt Hawkins. I'm talking about somebody that he could stand toe-to-toe. But they're going to decide that. It's not him. You're making like until he proves so. He's doing what they're no, telling no, no, him to no. do. I, no, I, I'm though. not saying that. What I'm saying is, is that when WWE puts him in the ring against someone that's relevant, Somebody like a Tenzai or somebody, somebody like a oh, Mark well, Henry. He's relevant. Well, it's not a Kurt Hawkins. Look, they feed Kurt Hawkins to fucking. Uh, to, to, they'll feed him to Vader. They'll feed him to Sinkata. They'll feed him to Brody's well, Clay. You're gonna see Ryback beat somebody of substance. It's gonna happen. You're right. gonna see it. Until Who's I be, see I him. Know. Until I Jericho, see him. It could be. It could be. Who's got a belt right now? Who's a. Who's not a baby face? Well, who's got a belt that he could just demolish? Who's a U.S. and Intercontinental champion? Uh, Christian. Isn't and, it uh, sad we barely know? 
Well, let me just. I mean, I'm, I bear, shame on me. I don't even know. Let I'm, me. Let me just. All, all I was finishing up was saying is that right now all his matches are one sided. I want to see uh, him have bigger competition, and then I'll judge him. Because Mason Ryan, right, I'm telling you, well, I, I hope he, listen. I hope that he can stand toe to toe with bigger opponents. I think I he can. Think, look at the man. You don't think he can? Well, look at what happened to Mason Ryan. But we you keep look, compa- But he is nothing like that because he's built. He's like Mason Ryan. No, no, no. I'm not comparing him to Mason Ryan. Does that make him I'm just saying, look at, I mean, what, right, I don't look understand. Look at Vladimir Kozlov. I don't understand. I really don't. I don't get it. Look at so Vladimir. Kurt Angle is a Brad Rangans ripoff because Brad Rangans was in the Olympics and he did the same moves Kurt Angle did. Look at. So, I mean, it doesn't. I don't get this conversation. Look really at Vladimir don't. Kozlov. Vladimir Kozlov in the beginning was destroying. Uh, once everybody. again, a different wrestler. What does I, that have to I'm do with? I'm not comparing all of them. I'm just bringing up people that in the beginning they were beating the shit out of people, and then when they went toe to toe with relevant guys, they couldn't. Remember Vladimir Kozlov in the Elimination Chamber? He had no ring presence whatsoever. I, I, I see a superstar in Ryback. I didn't I see hope anything. So. In Kozlov. I don't. Right now, I, I don't see, see it. I didn't see anything in. in uh, Bully Bushik. I didn't see anything in Tony yeah, Helm. I didn't see anything in all the guys who went on to do nothing. Brockus. I didn't see anything in any of those guys, but me I neither. see something in Ryback. And we'll see who's right in three months. Yeah. Well, look, I hope that he does tur- turn you know, turn it around. I mean, so far... There's you know, nothing to turn around. He's, on, he's, he's going there. I'm telling you. I hope so. If, it's a WWE, if the WWE screws this up, they screw it up. He's I not agree. injured yet, like uh, another Alberto Rio, who's out again for another nine months. Look, uh, I, you know, I, he's not injured yet. He's, he's holding up. If he gets injured, that's his bad, and he'll get released. But if he stays in shape and he keeps, and he really, you know, keeps the, I mean, he's putting these guys through the mat. I'm surprised no one really got hurt yet from this guy. He's really stiff. Yeah, I so know. So it's, it's, <laughs> he's definitely doing the gimmick correctly. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen guys this stiff since Bruiser Brody. Yep. But it depends on, like I said, where the WWE, the writers go with this. Only they can screw this up. So yeah. far, he hasn't screwed up because he hasn't dropped anybody. And he hasn't fucked up. And, dude, let's face it, you have to admit, too, kept picking up those two guys like that on live television, the fuck-up chances are tremendous. I agree. I agree. And, and he hasn't. And hurting somebody is tremendous. So I'm surprised they're actually letting him do that all the time. And I'm shocked one of these kids are not hurt. Well, that's the reason why they're feeding him nobodies, because if so, they don't want their own roster to get hurt. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying to a point, but we can compare a lot of guys to a lot of guys. Yeah. By the way, um, I have to say this. I said it on Facebook. I actually guessed right who the surprise is going to be for each later, but.